I believe in us. I believe in us in the future, man. All right, that's out of the lines here. Uh, so Connor Bernard, who's got Snipe. Braden Farmer, who's up to a 90 overall. We get a plus five. Uh, I'm thinking we do this. Bro, this that has to be the first line. They have to play together. I need that plus five going. All right, Safine can play any line, so we're chilling with him. Uh, Blake Spears. Like, I want to prioritize our prospects as usual, so Stella Mateos can play on the second line. I like him there. Uh, Justin Kirkland's been, been there for years. He's been doing a good job, so I'm okay with keeping him, but I really want to get our prospects going. So we'll call up Kote, who's up to a 70. Uh, Roloffs is up to a 68, so we'll call him up. Zikov and Cruz need to play. So we'll send down Dushak, send down Tucker, we'll send down Stevens, because those, those aren't our guys. Uh, we'll send down Grolo, Veal, Spears. Like, these guys aren't our guys. So we'll, we'll call people we, we know that we drafted. So um, Tikhanov, Boys, Kretschmann, and we'll call these guys up. Send down, I want to keep Safin, we'll send down Almari, Pearson. Bodnia, send those guys down, all up. Uh, I mean, Hoffman needs to play. I like Hoffman. We need some defense probably. So maybe uh, La Barbara, Val Mackey, those guys up. Old Tenny, how are we doing? We got Howe, Leninen, Mishka, and then Sasha McNiven, that's chilling. So let's see, best NHL lines. I mean, I'm gonna fix that in a second, don't worry. So La Barbara, who's in that doesn't need to play, so. Uh, Kirby, Christian Reichel is going to be sent down. Anthony Richard are going to be sent down. Anthony Richard. Anthony Richard. What else? Let's go by forwards. Oops. Let's go by forwards here before I forget. So NHL. Uh, we've got Richard. We've got Reichel being sent down. Okay. I like. Okay. I like the idea of keeping Kirkland. And maybe I'll send Kirkland down. We have Mateos. I want to keep Mateos and Safin because they're playing really well for us. Uh, that's good. Defense. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So Geiser, Berglund, Karan, who are none of our players. Zykov, Cruz, LaBarbera, Mackey. Seven defense. I want to get our guys going. So Sylvester and Oloshenko are our guys. You know? I want to get them going. So. Berglund really doesn't fit this team, but he's grown so well. Geyser as well. I'm definitely sending down Karan. He hasn't grown. So one, two. Who doesn't fit? I guess we don't know yet. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we'll just send on these two guys. We'll play our players. Under the minimum player limit. Okay. Send on these two guys. Call up a forward who's a prospect. So who's a prospect that absolutely needs to play? I feel like whoever has the best potential, right? So okay, so wait. So I get to put okay, low nine, medium nine. It's gonna be filled off. Okay. Out of the NHL lines, man. We're going with the we're going with the drafted players. Like, we're, we're going with our guys. So we're going this is our first line without a doubt in my mind. Ivanov. This is our first line. These guys should dominate, although our defense behind them is pretty bad. We got Junior Cruz on the first line. Sylvester fits the second. Oloshenko also fits the second. The Barber also fits the second. Mackey doesn't fit at all, so we'll, put, we'll do that for now. Zikov. Also fits the second, but okay. Zikov and Cruz at a plus one. Sylvester and LaBarbera. Mackie and Boloshenko. That's our defense. Uh, goalies, Sandstrom, McNiven. Hopefully they can sound on their heads a little bit. Uh, Kreitschman. Also gets the plus five. I like the idea of getting Kreitschman. No. Sniper, two playmakers. It was Stelio Mateo. Oh, roll offs, where do you fit? Third line, second line, wherever you want to play. Kote. Sniper. Matikanov. 
third liner. Safine, anywhere. Boys is the center, so let's get boys going. We've got Filatov, the boys, and Safine. Uh, does anybody need to play on a specific line? Boys can move up and so can Filatov. He's got decent potential. We've got Hoffman here. Okay, Tikhanov and Roloffs. I don't want to send Ivanov all the way down to the third line, do I? That's stupid. That's that would be stupid of me. Stella Mateo with Ivanov and Kote, Roloffs with Tikhanov and Hoffman, Filatov with Boys and Safin. I feel like Safin needs to move up a line or something. Plus two needs to be there. Okay, defense, Zikov, yeah, that's all good. Goalie, Sandstrom with McNiven. Like, this is as good as we're gonna get, man. All right, then we got Farmer with Ivanov and Bedard with, I mean, we gotta get Kro Kreitschman up there. Maybe Cruz? So far, so the Bedard there. I'm not on the point. Who fits really well? The Barber does. Plus five with La Barbara. Oh my god, yo. I'm not getting shafted right now. Okay, Kote. Uh, Kote, can you skate? Yeah, you can shoot as well. But okay, we'll do Kote. I'm not off center. Pull offs on the Point as a power forward is not ideal. With that sniper, Teos, Safine needs to play. Ah, but what about a right and D offensive defense or just Cruz? Cruz is on both though. Both. What about Sylvester? What about is the barber up there? Yeah, he is. What about Zikov? Zikov. Nope. What about Mackey somehow? Nope. What? Okay. Uh, Hoffman? I mean, Hoffman kind of fits. Okay, what about... Actually, I really want to get Hoffman going. But Mateos needs to be here. Safi needs to be here. So Kote can come out. Er, Filatov, maybe? Be a left winger? Roloff, Safin, Center, Ikanov, Kreitschman, Boys, Ikanov. What about. Should I just put it? Minus one's fine. Minus one's fine. Alright, power play. A four man power play, that looks pretty solid to start. That, that's fine. Penalty kill. Stella Mateos. Ivanov. Doesn't really fit. Farmer. Dard. Mackey. With Cruz. And La Barbara with Sylvester. Please fit. Okay, Mateos with Ivanov. Yeah, that's good. He's even better. That's even better. Plus two, plus one. Beautiful three-man PK. I mean, I'd rather run with uh, uh, Bedard because he fits really well. I'm here with you. I've been here just not talking. Ah, it's all good, MTV. I appreciate you you, you sitting by here and, uh, <clears throat> and being here and supporting the channel. I appreciate that. And then instead of Ivanov, I'm thinking we run like... Oh, uh, Mateo. Stelio Mateo. He needs to be in there. Beautiful. Extras, it's all good. Goalies, it's all good. So this is the team for this year. I, I'm really excited to sim with this team. Uh, best lines in the Burnaby Aces. I don't quite frankly care. Try to avoid the minus, maybe. Am 
Nice, it's really unavoidable here. Oh. There, that could be good defense. It's because it's gonna get anybody that needs to be in there, not in there. No, really. But right defense. No one. Right wings. No nope. centers. No. Oh, Allridge needs to play. Okay. Uh, so we get Allrich in there for the HL squad. Instead of this Eater guy. I don't know who Eater is. So Allrich will play. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Allrich is in. So that's the team. Uh, we'll see how it goes. I, I mean, I'm decently happy with this squad, especially that first line. I know maybe it'd be smarty. I have not had a plus five, but the faster Kreitschman gets ready to be a first line player in this league, the better. So let's see how this simulates. We'll go the first month. If the first line's really not doing anything, then I'll switch Kreitschman with Ivanov and just sacrifice the rest of the team for our three guys to be amazing. So we'll see how it goes. But everyone knows plus fives are super important in this game. Because instead of an 84 and a 90, we have a 95 and an 89. So. 2-1-1 uh, one one to start the year somehow. Um, <laughs> best start yet. We're, oh yeah, that's where it drops off. Yeah, that's, that's to be expected. But you know what? 3-5-1. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's play with fire. Let's play with fire here. 3-7-1. If we go to 3-10-1, I will change the law. Or 10-1. I mean, let me try it with the other line, although that first line armor did really well. The points. I have not do. Let me just try it. Okay, let me just try it. Reichman's getting the power of play time. Let me just try it with with Ivanov. Let's see how the team does with Ivanov up there because he's got a crazy shooting category. Let's see how we do in the next couple games here. Because we're 4 10 and 1 to start the year. Okay, one win, two wins. So two and one. 2-2, two, 2-2-1, two, 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 one, two, three, one, two, four, one, two, five, one. So like, 2 6 one. Did it really make a difference? Not really. So let's try a couple more games here. It started off really strong. We won a few games. Let's just try a couple more games here. Beat Detroit somehow. Let's just try a couple more games with this first line as is. But if it's not going well, I'm, I'm calling it a day. We don't win against Nashville. We win against Nashville. So I really want to get Kretschmann going. I really, really, really want to get Kretschmann going. We're at 10 wins already. So this is one of our best seasons yet. Farmers, oh, Farmers points have dropped off a cliff ever since I added Ivanov up there. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Get Kretschmann back up there. As soon as I took Kretschmann off that line, they were no longer a point per game. So yeah, let's, let's get Kretschmann off, uh, back up there. Go to the trade deadline and see how we're doing. Tough loss, tough loss. But if if our first, if our top guys are playing well, that's what matters, right? And I need I need Kretschmann to grow. So that's our priority. We're getting Kretschmann on the first line with plus fives with Connor Bedard and uh, and our boy Farmer. So we'll see how it goes. Losing a lot of games. We're at 11 wins already. So that's already better than I expected. We're getting offered Philip Forsberg. I mean, I'd love to take Philip Forsberg on this team and put him on the second line with uh, Ivanov, but we're not allowed to acquire those types of players. So, have to be drafted and homegrown, baby. Drafted and grown in Houston. <clears throat> Rangers, I'm offered Colton Pareko now. Oh shit, I didn't edit the scouting. We got one of the worst drafts yet. Oh my God, all right. We're gonna continue simming, so we're not gonna go into the trade deadline because there's no one I really want to trade away that would be worth anything. Uh, Farmer still hasn't picked up his points, but that's okay. He's two points in six or seven games, really not that bad. Shit. All right, so we got how many in the OHL? Three in the OHL, one in the Q, none in the W. Oh my god! All right. I can't believe I, I that's a terrible oversight on my part. My sincerest apologies to all of you. We have one of the worst scouted drafts of a uh, of our career so far, but that's okay. No, that's okay. That's the challenge. But we'll get as many in the WHL as we can. 
We'll throw one more in the queue, one more in the dub, I think. For as many prospects out of the CHL as possible, maybe. The one in the USA West here. We'll get some American players on this team too. We'll get USA West. We'll get uh, USA East, I think is missing one, or USA Central, I don't know which. East, okay, we'll get one in the East. Oh shit, man, this is, that's bad. That was a bad oversight on my part. Hopefully no one's in Alice Vanskin. That would have been wasting their time. Beautiful. An extra guy in Liga. We have three in the SHL. So one of them's coming out of there. Um, let's keep going. Hey, Spider-Man from Naruto. What's going on? Law doing franchise mode right now without a salary cap. Wanted to see what the AI would do. The answer is the bare minimum. Yeah. <laughs> the AI doesn't seem to understand when you take the cap off. They always just play the same way. It's, anyway. Anyway, it's, it's interesting. They don't go out of their way to acquire all the best players. So, I mean, it's... Basically free reign for you to get all the best free agents, so that's okay. But how you doing, Spider-Man? Welcome to the channel. First time chatter. Feel free to drop a follow if you want to follow for more series like this where we're doing Draft to Glory, essentially. I don't want to steal the name, though, because I know a few a few YouTubers, NHL content creators that have done series called Draft to Glory, so I don't want to steal... I don't want to steal their, uh, their name, so I don't know what to call it. Maybe Draft Challenge? franchise mode so where we can only build out of the draft we built a little bit out of the expansion draft but mostly it's from the the nhl draft so entry draft so it's a pretty good start here in houston this is year number three i believe or year number four i can't even remember anymore uh sitting with yossi pasternak huberto and johnny hockey had to scrap the whole thing oh what do you mean why did you have to scrap the whole thing were they not winning were they not winning games for you uh, Michael McLeod would be nice to acquire, but if you make the team right away, he'd probably make our second line. But too bad, too bad. So sad for Michael McLeod doesn't get to make his make his debut in Houston. <sighs> Seventeen wins on the season. If we get one more win, this will be our best season yet. One more win, and we've broken our record for season wins in franchise uh, Houston franchise history. One more win, man. They're really making us fight for it. Come on, beat Edmonton. Somebody beat New Jersey. Come on. One, go, gotta go one in the three games here. Come on, please. One in the two games. Come on, one game against... No way. Oh my god. But that's... It sucks to hear you had to scrap it. That was my problem, was they were winning too much, lol. I felt like I made a handful of signings and could breeze until they all retired. Uh, that's... Yeah. That's the tough part about playing this game with the uh, salary cap off, is you don't have any limitations, really, right? You can just do whatever you want, and the... And that computers don't even stand in your way because they don't they don't know what to do. They're like, do I spend over the cap? Like they they just don't know what to do. So it'd be nice if like if you played in a in a salary cap free league, like with the computers, where they'd just go nuts. They just sign a bunch of people. And that'd be so cool, but just the way it's programmed doesn't, doesn't work. Doesn't work. So the Montreal Canadiens have won the Stanley Cup in this year. We're about to enter the draft, so Spider-Man, uh, welcome to the channel where we're, uh, you guys get to help me the draft. So we get the third overall pick, so we, we, we lost out on the draft already, but that, that's okay. But you guys get to help me make the draft selections. It's mostly up to you, my assistant GMs, as a lot of YouTubers would call you. Hey, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it, man. It means a lot. It means a lot to show your support. Joe Thornton with the retirement. So Zach Rize also retiring. Charo retiring at 47. That lasted forever. Damn, good for him. But uh, yeah, it means a lot, man. I appreciate all the support, as always. So Houston, anybody retiring in Houston? I don't think so. Any Burnaby Aces? Chilling. No coaches retired for us. Uh, draft interviews will just continue simming. No point. Trade block won't even bother. No. All right. So third overall pick. Let's see what we want to do here. Let's see what we want to do. Put Barard, Gabriel Barard, the ripoff Bedard. New plan is to build up some top nine potential players, fill the top six with some low 70s, and hold them as long as I can. Oh man, that's good luck, my friend. Good luck. All right, we got, we got Sam Reese here available. Ideally, we get a defenseman, but there's no defenseman available. So, Henricius, a power forward. Of the likes of Sean Couturier, basically the same as Ivanov, so we don't need another one guy like that. Sergei Andronov? 
be good. Question. No zone ability. Who are we thinking here? Who are we thinking here? But Henricius. Big Tipper. It'd be, it's basically Ivanov again, so we know he'd fit the team. Andronov here would mesh well in any locker room, well rounded personality. Patrick Kane esque. Also be good. NHL ready. Playmaker or sniper. NHL ready. Two of the best stats. So far. Sorry about that. Henricius looks like the best pick. Big sniper though. Goal scoring, magic hands. It'd really help our power play a lot. I think I'm gonna go with Prokorkin. Off the board here, going with Prokorkin. 82 overall. And he's got one T. Okay. Okay, that's a good pick. It's funny how high top six potential uh, sometimes goes higher than medium elite. Yeah, I know. I know, I don't get that. I, I don't get that. I don't get that at all, actually. All right, left D. One, I'm not hesitating. I'm sorry, I'm not hesitating. <laughs> He's immediately our best defenseman. <laughs> Let's go. We finally get a defenseman who has got good potential and good overall. Oh my God, it's been so long. Years in the making in this franchise mode. Uh, Peltola potentially has Yoink, but I'm not gonna expect that. So low four, what's his ETA? Three years? Probably gonna be the mid 60s, maybe high 50s. Duda, Jace Duda, pro mentality at a young age. Looks pretty good. What's his ETA? Four years. Got Tikkanen, Mika Tikkanen, low elite defenseman Javon Bennett. We can get him in the next pick. So, a gem defenseman. I don't see how I can pass that up. Like a, we really need defensemen. A good leader would mesh well in any locker room. 17 years old. What's being drafted around him? Nothing great. So I'm thinking we go with the low four because we need the guaranteed defenseman. We just need it. 64 overall, beautiful. That's honestly a good pick. We just we just need defensemen, guys. Um. Oh shit! I might have messed up. I thought the two other guys would be available. I thought the other two guys would be available. James Bennett. Okay, he wasn't any better. Oh, we didn't miss out on anything. Perfect. Uh, we need another goalie prospect, so that could be our next pick here. Anybody with any X factors? It doesn't seem like it. Olvestad? Nah. All right, we're gonna go with the high elite goalie. Might not be anything. Hopefully you find a player who is just godly at one thing. I got a low elite power forward with D stats like Victor Hedman. Bro, that'd be sick. That would... Okay. High elite goalie, man. Okay, this is... Why would I trade away that for a fifth and a sixth? Yo, do they think I'm stupid? Uh, Wideman. Any really good steals. Shrimp. Shrimp looks like he could work. Sorry for the background noise, by the way. I have no control of that. Karen looks like a really good pick. Jacques Caron. Potential to have quick pick. At 104. I think I'm gonna go with Jacques. Jacques Caron, a good French boy. And the QMJHL medium four potential 52 overall. That's a good pick right there. That's a good. We're making some good draft picks this year, man. I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty happy with our picks. We can take shrimp as well. We get both. Low six 58 overall. I'll take it. I'll literally take it. Uh, okay, next. Eves. Not great. I mean, Kruger right off the bat. No chance I'm missing out on that. Medium starter. I don't even care. Free goalie again. 
If we're making good picks here. We're making good picks here. But yeah, it'd be nice to get someone like like Victor Hedman somehow in this draft. That'd be pretty sweet. Uh, Jacobs could be good. Eves. Like I'm going to look for like a sneaky ETA. Four-year ETA guaranteed. Five-year ETA. Four-year. So like the four-year ETA guys look pretty, pretty good to take. I did see an X Factor. Sagan. Yoink. I'll, I'll ping him. I'll ping him so I know. But these guys look decent. Like four year ET on him. Four year ET on him. Defenseman is going to be my pr priority for this draft. So, medium seventh Kovalchuk's not ideal. Uh, pitchy. Uh, okay. We'll go with Sagan next. I don't want to miss out on him somehow. Low six. Does he have it? No. But low six. 56 overall is really not that bad. I was expecting a lot worse from these guys, so I'll take it. Uh, so next up, we got either Di Pietro, the five-year ETA, Lucic with the five-year ETA, or three-year ETA on Havonin. Should take the ETA guy. 62 overall, low seventh. Is actually not that bad. Good shot, good puck skills, decent skating. You know what? I might sign this guy. 62 overall, you, you honestly never know. Especially in this series, I know, out of context, you probably think I'm an idiot. Because uh, you'd be like, oh, why are you signing this guy? Because uh, in a regular franchise mode, I have access to a lot of different players. But in this franchise mode, I don't. So I'm probably going to sign that kid. We'll sign him. Uh, we'll sign Blashaw. We'll let go of DeBauer. I have a plan. Any scouts that are expiring? I hope not. You. And yeah, we'll just sign them. Keep it simple. That's a really good shot for right out of the draft. Yeah, I know. I, I think so. So I I don't really want to play him in the minors because our minor league team is worse than our NHL squad. So I don't really want to put him in the minors. I almost want to just play him in the NHL outright and just put him on that power play with a plus five. That's kind of what I'm thinking because his offensive stats are decent. So well, anyway, we'll see where we're at. We'll see where we're at. So I have an to be signed. He does not want to re-sign. I'll give him a $7 million deal for three years. Stella Mateos needs to be re-signed. $2.5 million a year. Sure. Berglin needs to be re-signed. I'll let him play in the minors for 2.75. Same with Geeser. They can help our prospects grow. Lodnia, same thing. Help our prospects. Pearson, once again, same thing. More prospects. Safine, more prospects. Uh, Kirkland, I'm going to keep as well. I just, I don't know. He's been playing well for us. Our Klisha, I'll let go of. Reichel, I'll let go of. I'll wait for these guys. I mean, Hoffman needs to be signed. We'll sign Voloshenko. We need, we need to sign our prospects. So we'll sign him. Uh, Cruz needs to come back. We love Junior Cruz here. Man puts up points. What the hell's going on? Yeah, yeah he's had some really good points, man. But Houston Arrows. Great plus minus, but he's had good points for us. And he fits our first line perfectly, so. Sign him. Tikhanov will bring back. Zikov will bring back. These are all our prospects. Zikov's grown really well. Elmer. Might go up Elmer. And now I'll go to unsigned. I'll sign all the prospects that we have here. Oh, shit, a lot. We'll bring for Corkin, Connolly. And Connolly's going to make the NHL right off the bat. So that's perfect. Even in. Right, we'll sign all these guys, man. We'll sign all these guys. I think Heaven was the guy with a really good shot, right? Yeah, it was him. Even in needs to be signed. Shrimp, sign, like we'll sign all these guys. We have a lot of good defensive prospects now, so I can let go of a lot of these bad defense defensemen that we have just kind of chilling on our team. <clears throat> Let me just go like this. All skaters, advanced day. Okay, our coaches are saying no, so I'll probably just let them go. And I'll drop our current NHL coaches down to the AHL and sign some better NHL coaches. That's my plan. So, all right, let's do that. So basically everyone's signed, all expiring. We have 45 players on a contract, so we'll let go of Tucker. We'll let go of, we don't need any of these defensemen. Like they're all bad, we have prospects. We'll bring Roloffs back, obviously. He's a good prospect for us. Uh, Veal will be one of those guys that gets the max deal. Bucks, same with Spears. I think Spears got it last year too, so this guy's rich now, so you're welcome. <laughs> they're very welcome, they get a lot of money. So there you go, renew, renew, beautiful. <clears throat> and we'll bring Justin Kirkland. We still have $27 million in cap space. So Kirkland, congratulations, you get $18 million. 
Okay, and then bullies. We'll wait for these guys. Mishka will let go of. Advance day. So main roster for goalies, how many do we have? One, two, three, four. So we'll we'll leave these guys to their own leagues. We'll let them keep growing where they are. Whitman didn't grow. I think we bring in Whitman. As the AHL starter with Anonin. Bring back Sandstrom. On a max deal here for like Eight million bucks. Hey, punch it! But the fishy on me. Got the bee, but the fishy on me. Got a do a slap your knee. Fishy on me, fishy on me. I don't want the place, but the fishy on me. Got a the bee, but a slap your knee. Fishy to be, but I don't know me. Fishy on me, but the fishy to be. Daniel Lamoureux. I mean, he doesn't want to resign, so we'll just let him go. We need to sign some better coaches anyway, so let's see what's available. Fits with Connor Bedard, but last year we had a good plus five, so I'm gonna keep the same coaching style. That's what we're gonna go with. Looks like we're not gonna get a better coach. We'll bring in Lau, he can be the associate coach. Yeah, bro, everyone's live today, man. It's been a quiet day, but you know, we got Spider Man with the new follow. Well, I appreciate all the support. We got Dad Dad hanging out, we got you hanging out, so it's a good day. It's a good day, nonetheless. Bring in you. We need that guy, we'll bring him in. A better associate coaches. The lad, Brian Trent Lad, is the associate coach. I'm chilling in everyone's chats. Yo, that's awesome, bro. That's awesome. It's nice to see you supporting everyone. And uh, are you going live today? Because if you go live, I'll definitely, uh, I'll definitely hang out in your chat as well. Because I'm at home today, so I'll be able to be able to just chill and hang out. So <clears throat> let's do that. Coaching staff. I'll be working on some stuff for the channel. So it's gonna be kind of fun. Uh, so we'll let go of uh, we'll let go of Basha. We'll send you down. We'll send you up. We'll send you down to the AHL goalie coach. We'll send you down to the AHL associate. We'll send you down to the NHL AHL head coach. We'll send you down to the A NHL assistant coach. Let's see how that goes. I'm down to kill some zombies. <laughs> Alright, well bro, if you're hopping on today, I'll definitely join your chat. Uh, Trent Ladd said no. Okay, that's fine. To be expected. Uh, so Lau does not really fit our team. He fits Connor Bernard really, really well. And Kote, but Ivan Alvin Farmer not so much. So Lau's going to be the NHL associate coach. Lindros, we can bring in as the NHL head coach now. Brandon Lindros. Are you gonna be playing some, uh, some McCall? Which McCall? It's the uh, Walking Dead series. <clears throat> so Jackson Lindros. Now we need an AHL assistant coach, but I'll wait till the season starts to sign that guy. See how that goes. Advanced day. Advanced day. Okay. So our coaching staff has significantly improved. I'm not trading Whitman away. Get out of here. We ain't trading Whitman. Oh, got no value right now. He's gonna get better. Oh, big neck crack there, bro. As if I'm trading. Still not full. Out of you. EA Sports. They think I'm trading our boy Whitman away. Just unacceptable. I took him off the block, so at least now the player himself knows he's not being traded. Uh, but the computers are very intent, man. They want it. They want him. He's a 72 overall. Teams want him. So let's edit the lines here. We've got Farmer. Perhorkin fits really well in that first line with Bedard. Farmer. We've got Ivanov on the second line. Trade logic makes no sense. Yeah, I know. It's it's pretty bad. Uh, so let's send down all the people who aren't ours. So all the people who aren't our players, let's send them down. So Connolly is our guy. We need him to play. I don't know where he fits, but we'll find out in a second. So Steven's being sent down. Beal and Rolo, they're not our guys. Paula Petrovsky, 270. Kutov, Zikov, call them up. Uh, Tikhanov, Ulrich, and Mackie. Hold up as well. 
send down Spears, Kirkland, Geeser, the none of them are ours. Send down uh, Safine, Pearson, and Laudanio, they're not ours either. Uh, we'll call up Kreitschman, Cruz, Hoffman. Oh. Uh, was it Jorgensen? Low four, but he can play in the minors. Uh, where's the guy that I really want to... Oh, okay, he's playing the minors too. I know he's got the good shot and stuff. Wait, no, it's not Hevonen. Who is it? Who is it? Is it Kovalchuk? Who was it out of the draft? I'm already forgetting. It wasn't Boloshenko, was it? Even it? Yeah, it was he even out of the draft, right? He's got a good shot. He's playing down there. Sure. Uh, we need more forwards down there. So defenseman, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, who's the least good one? I don't know anybody's fit. So we'll leave that for now. We'll use some of the guys who aren't ours, why not? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Forwards, so we'll send out uh, we'll see what we'll see who fits where, and then we'll, we'll go. So we'll see what happens with the team. So I'll do best lines. Um, I mean, Kreitzman still is 65 despite play on the first line at a plus five last year. So that kind of hurts. I'm gonna send. I think I have to send Kreitzman down and let him play in the let him play in the minors. The game will let me. So I'll send Kreitschman down. He didn't grow this year. It just didn't work out. So I'll send him down. Sadly. Would have been nice if he grew. Kote's high top line is up to a 77. Stale Mateo on the second line and Ivanov. We've got Filatov. Ulrich. It's a perfect fit on that first line, but I mean Prohorkin needs to play. So we got Farmer, Bedard, and for Horking, so 95, 98, 89, or no, 87, my bad. Ivanov here as an 86 on the second line. Petrovsky, who needs to play second line, essentially, but not going to. Tikhanov needs to keep playing center. Ulrich is a better fit on the fourth line. Hoffman, a good fit everywhere, but he's going to play fourth line minutes. we got Roloffs, Tikhanov, Filatov at a plus two. So 6 down overall for taking off technically, so nice. Uh, plus 0 on the second line, that's fine. First line at a plus 5. Defensively now, this is where it gets tricky. So, uh, Junior Cruz is a perfect fit for the first unit. That much we know. Connolly is also a perfect first unit. Barbara is not. Interesting there. Uh, so we have Junior Cruz and Jamie Connolly at a plus 3 on the first unit. That is pretty solid. Pretty solid. Now we got Berglund and Zikov down here. I'm thinking of Berglund, Almeri, Barbara, Zikov, Cruz, Connolly. Oh shit, Mackie. Mackie kind of needs to play as well. I'll send Mackie down. I'll use I'll use Almari this year. We'll send Mackie down to the minors. We'll see how he does down there. So I'll send out Almari, so defense, which is probably one of our best, he's our best defenseman, but he said, no, sorry, Mackie, send Mackie down. <sighs> Bro, this, this team, man, you know, this team could surprise some, this team could surprise some people. Not even joking. So we got Leninen and Whitman, our two rookie goalies here, beautiful. Scratch got Shrimp, a lot of defensemen, basically, Scratch. So we got Kreitschman on the first line with Ivan Laudnia and Ostap Safin. You know, I can find someone who fits better, that'd be ideal. So maybe Pearson. Blake Spears. Blake Spears is way better. Okay, so it's Pearson with Laudnia and Kirkland. A decent second line, but if this one's a better fit, I'll go with them. That. Okay, Lane Boys. Perfect third liner. Sergeyev. Decent. Shit. Uh, Eater. This is kind of the center depth that I'm down with. So boys, boys can play down there. So let's just go sign some. 
Mm, we can't go sign anybody though, that's the problem. What if I go sign a random free agent to like a really cheap con? I have 3 million bucks. A lot of people unsigned. Let's go by UFA. Just a random forward. So Johansson here. Sign him to a one year deal. I'm not going to re-sign him after. So why would I want to? Um, and then Wiggly. Pretty self-explanatory there why I signed those guys. So let's do advanced day. They should both say yes outright. Yep. Okay. So that's good uh, for the AHL at least. So now I can take Jorgensen off the, the line there. I'll put Johansson in. And then, yes, I guess I can just leave Johansson. A good fit for the team too, which is nice. So I'll put you up a line. And Eater down a line. This is the team. This is a bad AHL squad, but they'll do what they can. Oh, defensively, they need to change them up. So, Hivonen is a perfect fit for the AHL squad. Grolo, also a perfect fit. They get a plus three. Mackey's the third unit. Oloshenko needs to move up. Stevens is not playing, so Vester's getting in there. Easter instead, we'll get... Uh, Shrimp's a decent fit. Shrimp has better potential than Kovalev, Kovalchuk. Uh, Jorgensen has... Really good fit, so we'll, we'll get your in there. Kindness is okay, that's the team. Okay, this is a bad AHL squad. This is a bad AHL squad. That's okay though. Special teams. Connor Bernard's playing center. We got Perhorkin. Uh, Cote's on there, really? But LaBarbera. Only a plus three. Last year was a plus five. Okay. Is there anybody else I can put on? And Cruz has really good senses. Look at Cruz's senses. 88 offensive awareness, 87 passing. I'll get Cruz going. We need Cruz to keep playing. We get LaBarbera on the second unit with Cote. We get Mateos going. I mean, Filatov needs to keep growing. So we get Filatov on there. Roloffs. Down to get. Yeah, let's keep take center. Keep take center. So All right, that's the team. Four-man power play. Ivanov, Farmer, Bedard, Perhorkin. So we'll go Bedard. Ote here with Ivanov. Ivanov's a really bad. That we got San Mateo, Cote. Like, this is as good as it's gonna get, sadly. So we'll get Cote Center, La Barbara, Berglund. Penalty kill, Mateo, Ivanov, Connolly. Oh, Connolly's not on any of the units. Hang on, if I get Connolly going instead of Philotop, I want Philotop to keep growing though. That's the problem. They say Philotop's coming out. We'll put uh Connolly in. Let's see if he fits at all. Quick pick. And a plus two. Now Cruz is going pretty well there. So like that's... I like the plus two. We'll go with the plus two. Penalty kill. Maybe I'll switch out Berglund for Connolly as well. Bedard. Connolly, Ivanov. It's even worse somehow. Bro, this laggy menu is pissing me off. Holy shit. Alright, Connolly does not work. Okay, uh, so we have Kote. Connolly's not playing there. We'll go back with, uh, what was it? 
update Mateos. Go with uh, Philadelphia. Alright, Pound and Kill, that's all good. So Ivanov, Bedard fits really well. With Farmer. Okay, and then La Barbara instead of Berglin, let's go Cruz. Fits. Ivanov at center. Pretty good. Pound and Kill, 3 MPK. Uh, we're going with Connor Bedard. Again. Have to go with Connor Bedard. Uh, our next center can be Ivanov, sure. Uh, La Barbara with Berglin does not fit. Cruz, does he make it a bit better? He does. But Zhikov. Has to be La Barbara. We got Almari with Connolly. Ivanov really doesn't work, eh? It's Del Mateo. He's been a good penalty killer for us so far, so we'll keep going. Uh, those are our two goalies. This is the squad. Uh, let's just keep it going. So we got Sandstrom, McNiven. As our two goalies, we got Farmer. Bedard, Perhorkin, Mateos, Ivanov, Kote, Rolos, Tikhanov, Filatov, Hoffman, Ulrich, Petrovsky. That's our NHL team. Draft to glory, man. It's an interesting thing. It's an interesting thing indeed. But let's just keep it going. We'll sim through this season and I think we'll call it. So let's just keep it going. Let's go through the season. Um, so I like the lines the way they are. So I just need to sign a quick assistant, AHL assistant coach. Let me just do that really fast. Two seconds. Honestly, HL assistant coach down there. Let's just hire an NHL assistant coach. How oh, we get a better guy? Even an associate coach. No, let's go with this. No, let's go with associate. Screw. Uh, so we'll go with uh, a generalist here. Power play, penalty kill. Definitely could use some help. But this guy's got B defense as well. Good teaching. So yeah, we'll, we'll go with this guy here as the NHL assistant coach. Hopefully he says yes, Marvin Parsons. I'll lock him up a bit longer term, five year deal. Let's see if he says yes, hopefully he does. Give him the max we can offer him. Sometimes they say yes, sometimes they say no, it depends on the guy. We'll see if he says yes. I really hope he does, because we can use him. We definitely use him on this team. So advanced day, advanced day, please say yes. Team is not the market he's looking for. So if I go, <clears throat> gotta hire a different coach. That's, that's unfortunate, but it is what it is. So let's try a different NHL associate coach. Maybe Mackinnon. Who's the other guy I was going to go with? So let's just try Mackinnon. Petrie Mackinnon. See if he says yes. Offering him like a million, a million dollars a year. A million something. A million two. Four year deal. That's fine by me. So we'll get Mackinnon signed. Hopefully he says yes. We gave him exactly the years he wanted. Longer term, just in a different position. I'm hoping he says yes. He's not hired yet. So I mean... Yeah, exactly. Looks forward to making an impact, and he needs to play at some point. He needs to be behind a bench at some point this season. I mean, I'd take any offer I could get. I don't know what the other guy's thinking. 